Hi, Sheila here once again to spend a little time sitting with you, uh, meditating, being mindful of the way things are. So we know that the more we practice being mindful in a non-judging way, a receptive way, to the way things are, that we hopefully, bit by bit, acquire that as a skill that we can take with us into our daily life being a little less rattled by what comes our way and just to say that sometimes we feel like that's true and we are a little less rattled and sometimes we think that it just couldn't be enough hours sitting on a cushion to make that a reality and both of those things um, are the way we experience the world and it's okay it's just a practice we're doing our best no guarantees So um, let's take a seat together, a comfortable, upright, alert seat so that we have enough energy to observe ourselves and let the eyes lower or close as we begin this practice together. Taking a few deep breaths always helps to settle and gather our awareness to the body, which is a great place to get grounded. The body will deliver information in real time. So check in with a fuller, wider breath, deliberately lengthening and deepening. Noticing what it feels like to bring yourself upright And to relax whatever doesn't need to be held to keep you upright. Let the breath move through the torso. Filling the ribs, stretching a bit as they receive the breath. Taking time maybe to lengthen the neck and drop the shoulders. So setting an intention to be still for the next few moments together. So if the urge to fidget comes along or scratch or move Let's see if we can just notice that together without necessarily attending to it. Really observing what is without changing it, without needing it to be different, even if it's just a little bit uncomfortable. So you can let the breath fall back to its natural rhythm, noticing that shift from a fuller breath to one that's probably a little softer, more shallow. And you may notice that as soon as that happens, the mind gets busy with something. So we are just training to bring the mind's eye our awareness back into something subtle about the way we're seated. The position of our hands at this moment. Just noticing the weight of the arms and the hands. Maybe what we can release a little more from the shoulders. Checking in with the very base of our body, the seat, the place where we meet the cushion. 
or the cushion meets us. And noticing if you've brought any expression along with you into the face. Can you release and relax any facial muscles or holdings from the forehead, the cheeks, the eyes? Letting the mouth be soft and relaxed, the tongue falling into the lower palate, it is interesting to notice what can release and what that sensation is just by noticing. Observing muscles letting go. Thoughts perhaps quieting and for some of us they just get busier and that's the experience that we observe. And the only thing we are doing together is observing. Being present to the feel of your breath in the torso, front, back, and sides. where the breath moves the upper chest. <clears throat> and maybe appreciating the restfulness in the legs that carry us around all day, working to move us from place to place as we do all the things we do in our lives. And for this time, they are just simply at rest. And so we're just giving our mind the opportunity to come to rest as well. It's an invitation to the mind, not a demand. So in some way we allow it to not come with us into stillness, but to encourage, to notice when it's been wandering And in that moment, offering sensation in the body. And the sensation might be one of hearing. It might be that we connect with the sounds around us. Noticing that they change as we listen, as we notice their presence in the environment around us. And just let it be a point of interest to notice that the mind on its own will start generating some thought, 
patterns, strings of thoughts, images perhaps. In these moments, we try not to concern ourselves with their content. Just a thought amidst the breath and the sound. The things that are going on around us in real time, just now never to return in exactly the same way. Just now. If perhaps we notice thoughts that we think of as sticky, they keep returning or not letting go, we can assist them by gently naming them. Just a word or two. We can name it thought, worry, planning, And once you name it, guide awareness back into the seat you've taken and anything and everything happening around the seat you've taken. What is here now? What are the sensations and the experience of now? The trip back and forth between thoughts and the moment will continue back and forth. Begin again, reconnect. Gently and compassionately, because this is just what the mind does when we get still. So we can relax into that as well by accepting that this is how it is. This is how it is. So not giving up to the futility of it, but just surrendering to how it is. One breath follows the next. And perhaps sensations in the body shift a little bit. So we can notice any changes. We can notice what arrives and what departs from moment to moment.
maybe feeling just a little bit of gratitude for this time that we're able to take in our lives to sit, to be present. Slowly training our awareness to gather more readily into the moment. So we'll prepare to close this time together with the sweet and lingering sound of the singing bowl following the sound with your awareness for as far out for as long as you can stay connected So it's nice to take a few full breaths as we come out, kind of bookending from the beginning with the breaths and letting the eyes open slowly is always nice. And just seeing what is around you and connecting with something or many things in your environment Listening to sound is usually very grounding and um, what's nice about singing bowl at the end is sometimes we think the sound has stopped. We li only listen so far out and then if we really, really pay attention, we notice the sound really lingers in the air and we can hear it a little longer if we aren't distracted by something else. And that's true about most of the experiences we have, is that when we pay attention fully, they reveal different things. They have a different quality. And that's um, the skill that we're practicing every time we sit, is just cultivating that ability to come back into the moment. Not because thoughts are bad or bad for us, but because of the, some of the qualities they can bring to our experiences. So since our time together, I do hope many of you are finding time to practice at home, even though I know some of us are a little more busy now than we were months ago. But um, if you can begin your day with five or 10 or 20 minutes for the end of the day, I think um, hopefully it would be a joyful thing. And if you have questions, uh, reach out to me through uh, the community center. I'd be happy to hear from you. All right, see you before long. Bye.